What is up my fellow thugs and gangsters, today we're playing Hoi for Kaiser Redux and I called you gangsters and thugs for a specific reason because obviously we're gonna go and make sure that the triads rule China get a criminal empire and we can even expand sounds lovely doesn't it? Crime and land without further ado, you know, let's, let's just get started people want access to my market sure I'll give access to everyone that's asking, I don't care and basically what we need to do is, um, well, go bankrupt. Which might be easier said than done considering our reserves are quite large currently. But we're going to do our best to get rid of it all. Uh-oh. Reserves will fall. Oopsie. They're below average, I'm thinking right now. Yes. And let's it have it fall a bit more, right? On thin reserves. This might just be a bit easier than I uh, thought, actually. Oh, our reserves are depleted now. We only have a couple of coins left. It would... Definitely be a shame if we, uh, you know, this will make it rise. I don't really need convoys just yet. So I want to go through here so we get more infrastructure first. You know what? Let's make our reserves full. I don't really need the convoys, to be fair. But we'll press put up some funding to invest in Hong Kong in a little bit once this is done. There we go. Currency exhausted. But wait, there's more. Oh, it's already exhausted. It doesn't get any lower, I guess. Well, since our currency is exhausted, we get a mission to escape our solvency issues or insolvency we're just gonna ignore that oh and we have declared bankruptcy damn that was actually quick oops japanese what they're taking our stuff let me see right can i hope to resist them i've taken it back now hopefully we can actually resist them like that people are just occupying our lands does this mean the mandate collapses no idea what this all does you think japan will eventually piece us out i sure hope so oh naval invasion you know what no access no access hmm. we can't do anything with this Except wait i guess and hope that the war will be over oh i didn't even notice the struggle for jankai we could actually go for the triads already i'm gonna have to oh, i don't want to delete this guy what do i do yeah give myself some military access through all of these people so that i can march in through here they might cancel it they might not don't really care but it seems a bit unfair that i just lose my troop just because he was in the wrong spot and they weren't allowing me to do a naval crossing. Because if I lost it in a naval battle or something against Japan, that makes complete sense. I don't care about that. And move in here, please. There we go. Now we can deal with the Japanese invasion. Which is going surprisingly well, actually. God damn. And there we go. They have been dealt with. Caused some pretty busting casualties, all things considered. So we can go to partial, so that's good. And eventually we'll probably go to volunteers only. Uh, away from a volunteers only down to a limited conscription. Because most likely we will be needing power. Oh, 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 naval invasion. You know, I actually welcome that. You will not encircle me. We'll stay in here. Black Monday in the East, we still have that, right? Yeah, we need to remove that. So I will be doing that in a second. I'm also thinking, we can build up some extra units, right? Yeah, should attempt that. And slowly but surely, as you can see, ooh, another naval invasion unit dead. Two left. It's only gonna be easier once we pump out our boys. You know what this? Oops. The naval invasion once more annihilated. But we have two Black Mondays. How in the hell am I supposed to do with that, man? This might be a bit dangerous, but I'm gonna attempt to have... Yeah, my unit... Uh, there we go. He's about to die, I think. I might need military access, but I cannot get any military access. No, we just killed it. We, we just killed off our dude, pretty much. He's about to die. That was a largely useless engagement. I'm being real with you. Lost about 10,000 units because of that. Oh well. At least we still get to. There we go. Annihilate these boys. I don't know how to get rid of this other black Monday though. They're constantly bombing us. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some anti-air stuff. I just need to research anti-air first and then I'll get to building that. There go. We stopped the mandate of the legation city. And now hopefully that means we can get some semblance of independence. First off, map our issues. Fix it, please. All of our generals are gone. Oopsie. Ooh, what the hell? Incorporeal entity. That's very interesting. We are going to put the Japanese man in charge of our army. Makes perfect sense when we're fighting the Japanese. So we'll go with that. And now is the question. Do we want to become drug uh, gangs? Do we want to become gun gangs? Or do we want to become human trafficking gangs? Uh, you know what? Let's go for drugs. Oh, and thankfully... The debuff is gone. Yeah. A reaction to delegation powers. We no longer have to pay. Well, we didn't have to pay for a while, actually. 
because we were bankrupt. Who cares though? Who cares? I need that we kill almost a hundred thousand. Oh no. Did we leave the axis of bosses on? Okay, so I left the allowed Diplo on sadly. Now we uh, fixed it. I should no longer be able to. Oh no, actually I can, I can still do the axis of bosses, right? At the collapse of the United Dragon Head Council, Jiang Qing has emerged as the preferred leader by decision of the Incense Master, Red Pole and White Sandal. Policy of mass opium sales rang true as the best venture to focus on. Another naval invasion, you know? Nothing too special. And annihilated as well. Boom. You've been vetting us. Uh, I mean, I appreciate you giving me free kills. I kind of feel bad for you at this point. We get our opium supply. Oh, yeah, I will buy and expand domestic production. They just keep dying, man. <laughs> 150 casualties. Man, you gotta be ashamed. 10 to 1. You're supposed to be a superpower, my dude. So where can I see my opium stock? I have no idea. I mean, I'll, I'll keep selling to China, I guess. We have Mr. Krabs, apparently. I oh, can even buy from Bengal now. And sell in other places. That's very cool. Now we can expand our criminal empire. Beautiful. We in the Triad Syndicate have done what little have thought possible. We've established and maintained a criminal empire that spans the streets of Shanghai and beyond. But we are not done yet. We still have many new and exciting places to expand our business. Oh, I would love to expand into the coast. Oh, that's how it works. We just get cores. That's pretty much it, huh? Just cores. Okay, okay. Let's face the Qing instead, huh? The way I'm looking at this. I'll get my cores in just to see what happens. Oh, that sensor screen can also, like, steal it away from them afterwards. Okay. I want to try it to get Fuzhou. Oh, I didn't even notice this. There we go. Another naval invasion dealt with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Halt. You motherfuckers are staying here. They almost went the naval route. Let's attempt to do some diplomatic pressure, right? To hopefully ask for military access. Though, though I'm looking at it, it's probably not gonna work. You never know, right? And boom, you're all dead. Got max diplomatic pressure on him. But it doesn't seem to be translating to anything. Maybe diplomatic pressure doesn't work in Kaiser Relax, but I feel like I've already made that happen once. Well, multiple times rather. Let's bribe the officials, see what happens, right? Oh, and here, yeah, we can actually get them. Nice. We need a lot of political power though. Oh, Russo-Mongolian all military union is going after Feng Chen too. That's surprising. Oh, now we can do it, finally. You're gonna ask for military, thank you. And now I'm gonna go get Ningbo back. Keep some troops there. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working, sadly. I'm gonna attempt to make some more units for when I actually take over more land. Oh. Ningbo is still under Japanese control, sadly. Then we're gonna go for Fuzhou, or Fuzhou, rather, maybe? I'm not gonna take any um, focuses for the time being. Nothing we really need we could go down here, but I'm, I kind of want to wait until I get all of my minor cities back, because it seems like this focus is not currently doing anything. Oh, we got this. Beautiful. Send some boys across, please. Or there shall that I see. Uh huh. That's pretty funny. Usually, Yellow Rush is more in the Manchuria region, but this time it's Mongolia. I'm gonna pump out these units and preemptively put them on Ningbo, because eventually we'll get that. That is rightfully my land. Now, Germany seems to be joining against uh, Japan. Japan's not having a good day, huh? Oh, I didn't notice they had like a, a little native invasion board there. Luckily, I killed them. Bribery officials for Shantou. Where is that even? I'm trying to steal a, a piece of land. I don't even know where it is. Oh no, that's Shanghai. I meant Shantou, man. Yeah, I'd like to have that. Thank you. Oh, there's a naval invasion. I didn't even notice. I'll just kill him off real quick. Excuse me? How dare you steal my land? There we go. Now we get to have Shantou as well. They're fucking stealing my land, these assholes. Give it back. Let me preemptively... There we go. All three of these boys. Down here, please. Ah, uh, see? Now that I have more... There we go. Stuff is happening. Oh, I didn't even notice we got uh, Ningbo back. I want to get more cities before I do that focus. See, now we have three of them. The longer we wait, the better it'll be for us. Afghanistan yeah, is now in the war. What? Oh no, against Russia at least. We don't care about that. Ooh, we get another boy. I'll do some more diplomatic pressure on the Qing again. Talking off of the military axis. It seems weird. We want to pressure you to be able to give you something. Skies are redux, my babe. More province. Under control. Well, at least Shelter C is gone. Ching took all of it. And their borders are looking disgusting. We have finally got Hong Kong in as well. And I think now that's all that's left is Tianjin. And we have all of our cores. Just a little bit more. Five days or so. And then we'll be able to establish the Tianjin Syndicate as well. Once we get to 
Tianjin. I will press the button. In 15 days, we will own that too. And we'll have all our cores. And then, and only then, will I press the growing the minor cities. Because maybe Tianjin is also part of this. You never know. Now we got 300,000 Japanese men. They died by our hands. We only lost 20,000. Oh no, we're still only the controller. We're not the owner just yet. And now we are the owner. Perfect. It wasn't needed for this focus. That's okay. You never know, right? Constantly shooting down airplanes whenever they're flying over our zones. Very cute. We actually got a lot more claims that we can get. And we can't seem to steal them. I'm also not seeing a single naval invasion these days, so I might as well train up my troops. And you know what? Russian Empire, give me some steel. I need it desperately. I'm not producing anything worthwhile in my empire. There's a lot more claims I can potentially get, apparently. But I don't know how. Seems like Japan has actually landed somewhat. I'll try to cut them off. Just for my own sake. Actually, they seem to have a decent amount of troops in here. I'll attempt like a collab government, maybe. Because I can, really. I don't know if I'll be able to land. Most likely I won't ever. I don't really have a navy. But if someone will give me access and make a landing, like the US or something, or Germany, we'll be able to make good use of that. I've finished getting all my claims ready. I have, well, actually I have only one on Qing and Deutsch Ost Asien. And I also am making one on Guangzhou government because they also have a couple of states that rightfully belong to me. I'm going to declare war on uh, Deutsch Ost Asien just to see. Just push in. I should be able to push in actually. Can't move from here. That's a bit silly of me. I kind of forgot. And I looked up all of this. You can't do anything else except for like um, invest in here and get more factories in. That's kind of a shame. Well, actually, you know what? I'm thinking load up the save. I have my claim, right? I'm going to try and diplomatically pressure them to uh, let me get military access and nuclear war on them. Good work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not really sure I always get it but i'll improve relations and i'm gonna just apply diplomatic pressure oh they are giving me military access there we go i'm in their territory i think wait was that was i not able to oh i guess i'm not able to let's try that again no it's not work it's not working oh boy sadly it's not working so i declared war for nothing basically and i could go for the guangzhou clique uh because i also fabricated on them but the problem is yeah um, the united front's kind of big man i think i might be like destined to just have to fight them in here instead because we're not allies i'm not allowed to build stuff in them it sucks i would love to build supply hub for them yeah the way i'm looking at us there's no point in being here i was saying that i do see that there's a bit of a naval invasion in here that we can potentially help out with just another tiny little instrument it's not much but beggars can't be choosers these days oh Japan asked for peace? We'll give them a peace, that's fine. No, oh, Qing's cancelling their non-aggression pact with us. I don't like the sound of that. You know what? I could just put him here for now. We might have to fight off the Qing. Might not. I'm thinking also max level fortifications everywhere we can. Massive amount of troops here. What the hell? How am I supposed to survive that? Might have to make collab governments on here instead. I'm going to save the game, see if I can make something happen. Actually, I'm not going to go to war with Qing just yet. I want all of these fortifications to be built soon. And then I'll attempt to fight off the Qing. There we go. We got a decent amount of troops out now. So that's good. I know we don't really have any supplies in here. Realistically. We've already built up the max level. And now repair the collab government. We don't need one on Japan anymore. Yeah, and you can do a silent little network in here. Perfect. Bring up our units, there's not much we can do. Apparently we could probably switch to service by requirement eventually. But for now, there's not really any need. I think it's time for us to save the game and see if we can actually take on the Qing. They don't have any everything cord yet, so we should still be fine. Take <laughs> units, look at them go! Damn it, we're losing units. Oh good. We we did lose some units, but this is actually good to hold. Now they can't just Reinforce me must to death. We can cycle each other through here. Wait, so the Qing is a major, but also the Sichuan, the Ma, and the Xinjiang. Are you fucking kidding me? I need more war support if we want to go for search by requirement. Okay, let's bump that up then. All right, stop attacking. We got kicked out of that tile. You know what? I think I'm going to form the Axis of Bosses. Fuck it, why not? I mean, ignoring the few units that I lost because of reinforced memes, we're inflicting some... Dang decent casualties on them. Oh, we can invite some random people into our faction. 
Nice. Oh, we finished up our collab government. Yes. Gonna make resistance contact with the Mongolians as well. Hopefully distract them to giving us a better position. I was saying that. Yeah. These are still going decently. I might just let the game run for a year or two before coming back and seeing what's up. Oh, and now the Qing's calling in its allies as well. God damn it. Oh, they're at war together. Again, Japan's once again invading China. That's good, I think. Although that makes me kind of nervous about them potentially invading us. Cannot repeat make resistance contact. Sure, we'll keep doing it. Increase resistance and maybe one day they'll even break free. That would be nice. All right, let's go for servers by requirement. We desperately need the manpower. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Break out somewhere. The troops that I've built up, oh, I'll just pump them out right away. Send them in here. There we go. We got all of this. Prepare to build that up, please. To the max. If we can, a supply hub in here as well. Fresh units are on their way. Lovely. Keep moving in wherever we can. It's not much, but it's a good start. Down here, maybe I can push in, maybe not. But I want to focus on Beijing. Can we push in? Oh yeah, we can. This is actually a great tile to hold. Beautiful. Just a little bit away from Beijing. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Just stay here. They took that tile fair and square. They can have it. Oh no, now the Guangzhou clique also got called in. Uh, I don't like that. We're holding out just fine for the time being. For how long? No one knows, man. Apparently, we can move in here. Huh. Yeah, these three tiles holding is, is just fine. And if possible, I'd like to make a couple more extra units. Oh, why did you abandon? Yeah, hold this, please. Thank you. It's very important that we keep our tile. We're making some progress here and there, but I have no idea how I'm actually going to defeat the Qing. I think I need to go out to absolutely scraping the barrel if I don't want to stand a chance. I'm lucky Japan joined. Well, they didn't really join us. They just happened to be fighting at the same time as us. Oh, wait, we pushed through actually. Nice. Keep going, my dudes. Look at that. We're actually pushing through into Qing. I don't think this is their core. Yeah, this is just colony states. That doesn't matter as much. But still... We are moving. That's all that matters to me right now. A million hemp power. We are closing in on 100,000, which is not good because we can't really afford major losses. Why? Oh, I got Beijing. Damn, that's actually kind of surprising. I'm about to get Beijing. Yep, there we go. There we go. We got a couple more troops out. They're not quite fully equipped, but that's okay. I just need some boys on the field. First boat. That looks like a triad member right there. Henry Clemens, the Chinese triad man. Wait, they got Beijing back. No, never even noticed that. I'll kick him out of their capital again. Please and thank you. I require it under my control. The hell are these borders in the Middle East? There we go. We're going to get another tile. How beautiful is that? But another one, actually. And another one. And another one. <laughs> We're stretching ourselves way too thin in here. As funny as this is. Oh, but we will be able to encircle the six stack, which for us isn't, you know, which for China isn't that much, but... For us, it's a big deal. We, we won't be able to make it, I think. Already 2 million losses for them. Quite happy with that. So our side, almost a million too. Mostly from Japan, though. Because they're not very efficient with their manpower. Which they can be. It's their prerogative, considering they have multiple of what I have. We'll be able to encircle these 12 troops finally. Yes. There we go. We've done it. 12 troops to the slaughter. Come on, annihilate them real quick, please. Before they realize what's going on. Oh, they're dead. They're all dead. And now we have one big front line in here that we can guard with one army instead. Lucky, we might even be able to connect the Shanghai troops as well. That would be very nice. One we're about to. There we go. Oh, look at that. We've finally connected up almost every single thing. I think a few of our fortification buildups are now officially obsolete. Oh, this one isn't. This one is. It might seem like a waste building up all these fortifications, but I really don't have anything else that I'm building currently anyway. So might as well. Oh, oh. They're freeing up a tile for me to take. In fact, I might be able to go even further. All the way to Nanjing would be my hope. Or getting closer to it. I'm not ready quite yet to take it, but that's okay. Oh, beautiful. And of course, check up on the fortifications once more. There's one in Nanjing, so I'm Probably gonna wait with building up just yet before I get Nanjing. And then I'll be hunkering down a little bit more. If I can circle this stack over here, right? I should be able to. Because pref preferably I'd like to not face the fortification itself. That does seem to be working. Don't let them escape though. Beautiful. Annihilate them nice and quickly. And another lovely stack. Dead forever. Oh, Japan's coming up from Port Arthur now. 
that's good for them. Jing's pretty much halfway dead already, though. Quite happy with that. Like Nanjing and maybe like a Unching might be enough or something else. Most of these are only 10 BPs for the 30 I got. I guess, yeah, if Japan can get to Shenyang, I will be able to capitulate them. Yeah, I completely forgot about all of this, actually. Oopsie doopsie. I'm gonna try and spread out in here as well if I can. Encircle this one troop. It's not much, but it's honest work. There I go. He's dead already. Oh, they're leaving another spot open. I'm taking it, man. Now it's add him in here. So I'd like to extend the Guangzhou front line as well. See if I can push in further. Oh, it seems like I can. We encircled one entire troop. Absolutely incredible. Well, you know, it's better than nothing, really. Come off. No, no, what the hell? All you motherfuckers stay in here. Might almost be time to capitulate. Ching. Come on, Japan, just take Ching Yang. I also design another division. Apparently, I don't have irregular cavalry. Is what I need. It's much cheaper. Get some manpower, some equipment, which we can use to make more units. Oh, and the capital of Guangzhou is dead. Good. That's gonna get them close to the capitulation as well. The other supply hub that I can get. I'd like to have it, please. Thank you. They're nearing 4 million casualties, though. That's incredible for me. Get rid of the local police force. I want civilian oversight, I think, to build up all of our um, compliance a bit quicker. I'm just going to go and keep pushing through in Guangzhou instead. Well, we got not much to do in here. Pop out some more units in here and in here. Because the Guangzhou front's kind of looking thin and bare bones. Essentially, yes, encircle these units. Boom, dead. Just one encirclement. That's, that's not much, but... To start, we are about to encircle three troops, which isn't gonna be much. Oh, never mind. Come on, make it. Uh, it's still way too long. Oh, we did it actually good. Just barely, but we did it. We even get to take a few fortifications here and there. But you're willingly letting yourself get encircled? I'm not gonna stop you then. Thank you. I appreciate the sacrifice. Now they're constantly attacking us. That's actually very good for us. More casualties on our side. I'm also in the process of attempting to get the modern tanks. I figured maybe I'll use that as a more manpower efficient thing to break through and get a bunch of encirclements in. Because the more I stretch myself thin, as you can see, I already have like 80 troops, which is a decent amount for a country as small as ours. We technically have 11 million people. Uh, we're putting them all into the army. Well, Russia is actually winning, it seems, in Germany. How very interesting. The Commune of France might have even returned if, if uh, Russia doesn't take that much time. I'm thinking, what if I just encircle these units in here? The four stack of the Sichuan clique. For now, they seem to be very chill. Yeah, they're just letting me take care of them, apparently. I'll kill them off real quick before anyone realizes what's going on. Boom. Lovely. I see another potential invasion, uh, encirclement. This four stack in here. I'll try and make it happen. Oh, and it did happen. Now we crush them real quick. Beautiful. More units out. They might not be fully trained. That's okay. I don't care that much. I'll put them on the main front with the Beijing stack. Because I think pushing there is the best course of action currently. We're very close to Nanjing. So as soon as the Qing dip a bit too low, I'll swap, uh, swipe in, take Nanjing. Have to capitulate. I want a better position currently. Let's see if I can circle these two units. I feel like I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I have. Yes, I will. Yes, it's done. Jin on now. Yeah, boys, we're we're in the end game. I'll, I'll just take Nanjing at this point. That'll hamper their plans severely, hopefully. Brings him down to halfway dead as well. So that's nice. I feel like this front line is stretched so thin. There's gaps now and I can just waltz in and uh, get some premium encirclements going. And here, you my friend, you go there. You my friend, you go here. Keep my friend in here. Oh, no, keep him. Oh, damn it. I was gonna say keep him in check. Sadly, not possible. They were a bit too quick for me and a bit too weak to pin down. Another tiny little encirclement. Thank you, sir. Oh, actually, that might not be quite the encirclement. That's okay. Now it is. Oh, well, you got, you got Xinyang brings Qing that much close to capitulation. Let's attempt a bit more of an ambitions encirclement in here, right? I think it's working, and it did work. Now we just need to make sure they don't escape navally or anything of the sorts. And just crush them completely and utterly. And now this whole front line is connected. Modern tank chassis. Yeah. Oh, we can potentially encircle this one unit. And you know what? Why don't I adjust that? I've been feeling pretty much a lot of resistance into the northern Shahar region. It's at uh, 75, 71% uh, resistance target, so it's naturally going to curve up to there. 
It's already at halfway there. I'm trying to get a rebellion going on in here. So don't yeah, they have don't have it as a core. There's someone else that has cores on that. Although no, the Ching actually has cores on this. So hopefully at least Northern Chandahar is gonna rebel. But it's quite expensive these days. I need a 45,000 gun. Do you know how many units I can train up with that? Speaking of, I think I am probably going to do that. That might be my final one uh, for the resistance increase. If that, I think I'll just make a full 120 stack and probably bump up to all adults serve, which just pains me. We just bump up to here, maybe. See how much further I can uh, move. We're about to take Shayang. Is that enough to capitulate them, actually? No, not quite. They're very close, as you can tell. Now all we can do is just get these tiny little instructions here and there. And annihilate... Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, no, never mind. We, we did it. We did it. Just annihilate these troops before they can break through. Thank you. Got a decent amount of trucks. Maybe it's time for us to also switch to actual trucks. Yes. We will need to build up more, though. We want to sustain this build up. Forced into hiding. But at least it was successful. Only two... Uh, only 10% increase this one's at least a little cheaper so that's good once my agent's back he'll continue with that mission 81 percent we're close to getting a potential rebellion in here really hope we get a 20 percent on the next strength and resistance i'd like to see a rebellion out spend so many guns on this only 10 percent again see this is such a random amount i'll do it because it's going to be the final one i think right we're at 91 percent when are rebellions happening above 90 okay okay so in theory rebellion should be possible here eventually i'm kind of tempted to see what would happen if i were to do this well we're pushing in right away apparently without that much resistance it's gonna cost me a pretty penny in equipment you're gonna keep the little circle of units very nice delete this for now just only from here please i want to push through seems to be going really well of course at this point Wait, we can't go on old old serve uh because we don't have we chink capitulated okay okay be very aggressive about all this please they capitulated i didn't even need this goddamn annoying little thing okay okay the front line back where it's supposed to be no ma click shinking and sichuan is all that's left we capitulate hunan before they realize what's going on i really hope so oh and hunan also capitulated Beautiful, that's exactly what I wanted. We just push in, we have the manpower. I'm gonna quickly... Damn it. More than 70%. We are at, at 70%. We need a bit more. Once we get more than 70, we'll raise up our conscription levels. Nanning, Muller at it. Guangzhou did? Ooh. Wait, thank you. We're getting way more manpower now. It's from owning half of China. Well, it's actually most of the mainland. This one click is pretty much about the fall up uh, just as i was saying that it's dead all that's left is mock leak and sink yang that's it once we take the capital i think the mock leak will also fall apart right uh, they're close they're close just get to yushu please there we go wait what oh yeah no that makes sense that makes sense i think right you guys up to here and uh make a front line in here as well for sink yang proper mostly here let's try and get some vps going right Botan. Okay, that's most of them, right? Now we can go actually even higher manpower wise. All of those serve. Let's go. We didn't even need the tank that we're trying to build up. We almost have it. We need like 40 more tanks, but I'm not even going to pump them out. So no need. I think this province that I've been trying to destabilize will rebel once it hits 100. I sure hope so, but I doubt it. Yeah, there you go. It's at 100. It's not doing much. Kind of a shame. I was hoping it would. It's the only reason I put so much uh, equipment and uh, utility up on there just for the hope that it would like explode oh, we did it look at that and then we pretty much just take everything i did all of this man japan isn't getting anything you can get some boats well not much probably but still look at that the triad syndicate it's kind of hilarious not gonna lie we somehow have massive amounts of manpower oh we can even integrate the stuff the fengtian are no, not the Feng Chen. Where are the Feng Chen, though? I don't see them. Maybe they mean Japanese? Yeah, because there is no Feng Chen currently. It's all gone. Wait, we get to actually core everything. Long have the Three Harmony Society or the Triads influenced China from shadows. With roots in the secretive Chen Di Hui, the White Lotus, 
we have pulled the strings of China's political game for centuries. God damn. 57? Yeah, I mean, at this point, we can probably ease up conscription a little bit. Even our um, economy, probably. I'm keeping Korea, though. It's all mine. Beautiful. But that is pretty much all of the time I have left for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.